Welcome to the Daily Marvel Snap video, and we do these every day. Today, we're gonna talk about the brand new location that's coming to the game tonight, and will appear as a featured location 40% more for the next two days. Now, this location screams some cards that are gonna be obviously good, and we're gonna go over those cards, and then we're also gonna go over six different decks. So the name of the location is Collapsed Mind. Fill this location with rocks. Skip a turn to destroy your rocks. So there's gonna be rocks on both sides. It's gonna be clogged. You're gonna to have to skip a turn and then the rocks explode. There are some super obvious cards to me that are going to synergize well with this location. And one of them is going to be Sunspot. Now, Sunspot is the best one drop in my opinion. I believe that the best one drops in the game are Sunspot and Iceman. An interesting fact about Sunspot, right now Sunspot is the most popular, most played card in the game right now. And uh, it's amazing, right? You skip a turn, you get soak, you get power. I, I think this is an obvious no brainer. I I'm gonna have to squeeze Sunspot in on maybe some of my decks that I don't normally play Sunspot, but Sunspot is just a great plug and play uh, deck for sure. Another one I think is gonna synergize well with skipping a turn is going to be She-Hulk. Cost one less for each unspent energy last turn. And the cool thing about She-Hulk as well is that she is currently pool four. And on the 31st, she's going to be moving to pool three or series three. Uh, there is a ton of ways of playing She-Hulk, but uh, one of the most popular ways that is played is you skip turn five, and then you can play She-Hulk for one on the last turn. Uh, there's a lot of decks that exploit this, specifically with Moon Girl. You play Moon Girl on turn four. You know, if She-Hulk's on the first part of your hand, you have multiple She-Hulks that you can play for one cost each. Uh, there's this Taskmaster She-Hulk combo where you skip your turn five and then you play She-Hulk for one and copy it with the Taskmaster. Amazing card. Now, dealing with the, the rocks uh, exploding because they do uh, get destroyed, I think another logical choice is going to be death. Cost one less for each card destroyed in the game. So if, if this location appears and you skip a turn and they skip a turn, uh, then there's a situation where eight cards have been destroyed, effectively making death a one cost card. So I think this is gonna be a no brainer as well. Next on the list is Infinite. Infinite cannot be played if you play on the turn before. So if you play the current last turn, you can't play this. So the typical strategy with this particular card is to play Sunspot. You, you not play turn five, and then you can play Infinite on turn six for 20 points, also highest card in the game. There are a lot of other cards that look to take advantage of Infinite's raw power, and we're gonna also look at decks that do that. And lastly, and I'm not necessarily a fan of this, uh, I may try it, uh, but maybe there's gonna be a, an opportunity for Patriot right here. Your cards with no abilities have plus two power, so you just drop Patriot down and those rocks uh, get boosted, which I think a Patriot deck wants to do anyways with cards like Ultron or Debris or something like that. So let's get into some decks that I'm gonna try on the first day. And this is the one that I'm the most excited because uh, it's a fun deck and it, it's titled Casino. And the idea here is that of course, it has, you know, a couple of the cards that we talked about already. It has Sunspot, it has Infinite, but the main idea with this deck is to cheat the large power cards, whether that's Chavez, Hulk, Magneto, Giganto, Infinite, and Death, onto the board with Lockjaw or Jubilee. Cool, right? You know, you play Lockjaw turn three, and then you place another card on top of that, it swaps out on the deck, or you play Jubilee on turn four, Jubilee pulls out of the deck, this feels like a casino, it's gonna be random. And then of course you have Dracula, which is going to get power if you have a card left in your hand. So I think there's plenty of opportunities to play this deck uh, with uh, this particular feature location. 
mostly because of reasons that we named before. It has Sunspot, it has Infinite, and it also has Death. I think that's gonna be great. Uh, another one that I'm gonna try out when it comes out, and I am a little bit bored of this deck. Uh, this is a very well-known deck. And uh, also, I wanna explain the logic uh, that I have about featured locations. You know, I want to play decks that can win even if the feature location doesn't show up. Rather than just building a deck around the feature location, use a deck that works well with or without the feature location and also works amazing. Now, uh, this is um, Death Wave. Some people call it Surfer Girl. Some people call it Bay Arrow. And this is a very well-known deck. Uh, I'm thinking about squeezing in Sunspot, maybe in place of Squirrel Girl or Killmonger. But the main idea of this deck is to you know blow up a bunch of blow up a bunch of stuff right with the whole uh, destruction package there with Hood, Squirrel Girl, Yondu, Bucky, Carnage, Killmonger, and Deathlock, and then on turn five only place Wave with two unspent energy. Then on the very last turn, you have the opportunity of playing Arrow, She Hulk, and Death all at the same time, while your opponent can only play one card and and you could either play uh because what's going to happen is wave is going to make the cards cost four so then you're going to play arrow or leader for four she hulk would only cost you two and death will be free if enough cards have exploded and your opponent will be sitting there with only having the ability of playing one card okay next deck that i'm going to try is going to be a patriot surfer deck and uh i'm gonna try it i don't know how well this is gonna work but i just want to try it just for the sake of uh seeing if we can get some usage out of patriot with those extra rocks okay there's three other decks that i've got recommended here uh the next one right here is a zabu build right here that is using moon girl to duplicate either Devil Dino or She-Hulk. So right here on this deck, this is a good build. This is a known deck that does very well. It, it doesn't have, you know, a, a lot of Series 5 cards. It does have She-Hulk, which is Series 4, and Zabu, which is a Battle Pass card, but it has uh, Sunspot. And the idea here is that you're going to play Zabu turn 3, and then on turn 4, you're going to place two 4-drops, Hopefully one of them is Moon Girl, and then you're going to have either two Devil Dinos in your hand or two She-Hulks. If you don't play a card on turn five, you're going to be potentially having two She-Hulks to play on turn six for one cost each, and I think that is fantastic. Uh, the next is a deck that was popularized by Jeff Hooglin. I believe this was the deck that he used uh, to push towards Infinite uh, this season at the very end uh, so that he could get to Infinite. And this, unfortunately, uh, very strong deck, very good, Brickstar, but unfortunately, it has Dark Hawk. If you have Dark Hawk, this is going to be an amazing build. Uh, so you've got the Dark Hawk package, which is Korg, Black Widow, Dark Hawk, and Rock Slide. Then you've also got the option of copying uh, uh, Rock Slide with Absorbing Man. Uh, all of those cards boost the power of Dark Hawk. And so on this particular deck, very similar to the Devil Dino Build, which I just showed, trying to do the same thing. Zabu on turn three, on turn four, get multiple cards into your hand, uh, multiple Dark Hawks or multiple She Hawks. So that way you can just dump them. You can also copy uh, the Dark Hawk with Mystique. And then that also has the Soak. Uh, with Sunspot. And then the last deck, and I believe this was a deck popularized by Snapster or Dexter, uh, and this is a build right here uh, that is also trying to exploit uh, Moon Girl to a certain extent, but this has got Ant-Man, Iceman, amazing cards right there, Korg, Sunspot, so there's, it's kind of got, got like a zoo feel right there, Armor and Psylocke. Psylocke will let you get to turn four faster with Moon Girl. You got Magic, Chavez, She-Hulk, and Infinite. So there is a, a several builds right there that you can try out. Uh, now we're gonna do some other things. We do this on every video that we have daily. We have some other things that we wanna talk about. And this is like the daily 
uh, news part of the video where we just go over hot topics that are coming up uh, on Reddit or various places. Yandu is not a bad card. Change my mind. My personal opinion is I don't think Yandu is a bad card. I just think there are better cards. I feel like Iceman is a better card. And I also feel that Sunspot is a better card. And I also feel like Korg is as good as Yandu, maybe a little bit better. And Korg for sure is better in a Darkhawk deck. I think the problem with Yandu or, or the place to use Yandu is in conjunction with death because it destroys a card. So the cost of death goes down by one. Or if you're playing Null, if you, you you destroy a card, then you get the power, which can be added into Null when you play Null. But the real thing here is that there's three possibilities with Yandu. He kills a card your opponent wants. He helps your opponent draw the card they want. Your opponent already has all the cards they need in hand, so it doesn't matter. And the other thing too is quite often, people are putting America Chavez to thin out their deck. And if America Chavez is happens to be on the top of the deck, she won't be drawn. She's like stuck on the top of the deck. And quite often, Yandu is going to be blowing up America Chavez. So this is also, since we've been talking about one drops, uh, this is another thing. Every time she's in my deck, it's either this or Iceman. It's talking about magic right here. And magic, basically, five cost card can't be played on turn six. And so you have to play her on turn five. But if Iceman hits her, uh, then you, she's basically a dead card in your hand. And uh, Iceman is really good. And uh, the thing about Iceman is Iceman will not hit six cost cards. He only hit cards that are not six cost. And I can't tell you the number of times I've absolutely been destroyed by I Iceman and lost the game. And uh, I just was floating this out there. What if Iceman could hit six cost cards, but they just don't get changed? I think that would be so much better. There's nothing worse than Iceman ruining my day. Absolutely. Uh, look away from the game for one second. Sokovia, discard a card from each player's hand. This location appears and you don't know what card uh, was discarded. Uh, I brought this up the other day, but there's a new tool uh, that you can use on untapped.gg. Uh, it is a overlay for the Steam client only. And the thing about it is that it allows you to see which cards have been discarded and destroyed. More importantly, in a lot of ways, you can also see what cards are remaining in your deck. Like if you're not sure what's going to happen, if you play like Jubilee, which cards are in there, or if you're just waiting for a certain car, you kind of know the odds and the number of cards that are in your deck. This has made my decision-making a lot better and especially decks that have like Lockjaw or Jubilee, where you're trying to figure out like, oh, okay, what is Jubilee gonna pull? Or what is J Lockjaw gonna pull? Well, you can just see it right there. Uh, this has made playing Marvel Snap a lot easier for sure. And then lastly, we talk about the location world ship. Never seen this, how rare is it? My understanding is that there are two super rare uh, locations and uh, there's different rarities of locations, but I, my understanding is that Ego and World Ship are the most rare locations and they show up like one in 200 games. The developers also said that they made uh, like Warrior Falls is more rare than other locations. So I don't know if there's three different tiers of location rarity. I'm not sure, but I know that this is super annoying to play against. So is Ego. It feels like you're just like, you know, why did I load into this match? It's just going to teach me how to snap better, I guess. I don't know. I guess it's a part of the game. I'm glad they're more rare than others. All right. Well, now it's time for the giveaway. I really hope you like this video today because this is the part of the video where we give away a free variant for your new collection, right? So I really hope you like this video today because if you did, you are in luck. For every single person that likes this video, you will be getting for free in your account a Wolverine Banana Man variant. This is not a scam. Wow, well, ban Bananarine? I'm not really sure, but that's some serious cosplay. He's a banana Wolverine. It is, it's a joke. There's no, there's no variant like that, anything like that. Bye for now, see you tomorrow.